I'm Ms. Artastic, and today we're going to draw a fire-breathing dragon. So grab your mark-making mediums and let's make some art. Okay, we're going to begin drawing our fire-breathing dragon, and we're going to draw it about the size of your hand. And towards the top, we're going to draw two circles. So draw one oval. Then you can overlap a second oval. In each oval, you can draw a circle. And in that pupil, you're going to draw a smaller circle and color everything in but that smaller circle for the glare of light. Just like that. Next, we'll draw a line out from between the two eyes and draw a nostril. We'll draw a little line out and then back in with another little bump and then curve a line down. Okay. We're going to draw a wavy line that goes across and up. One that goes back down and across. And then a line in. Give your dragon a horn. And then a second horn, but make that one a little bit smaller so it looks like it's in the distance. And then draw a line down from that horn along the back of the head and to the neck. And now we'll add some wings. So we'll do curve line with one wing, with one line up, then out, in, and down, up, and connect to the start and between that we're going to draw curving lines just like that just below the head we're going to give this dragon two tiny dragon arms so we'll do one arm first draw a little belly Draw the second arm. And again, it should be smaller because it's in the distance. We're gonna draw the back, so bring that line down. Curve it up and around. Bring it back in, around and down. Perfect. For the back leg, we're going to draw letter C, curve line out, zigzag line for toes, connect to the tail, connect the, bod the belly to the t foot, add the toes for the leg in the distance or the other leg, and then from where the neck and the belly meet, draw a line down and connect it to that back leg and then you can draw some curved line for a striped belly. Last details we are going to do a, a little spike on the tail so on the tip draw two curving lines out, two curving lines in like a spade. Finally we need to add second wing. Again, make it smaller. So initial shape, curve lines in between to connect. Perfect. The last thing we need to add are some flames. Okay, curve line out, in, curve line out, in, 
out in out in out in so it's like a speech bubble that is made of curving lines draw another shape in the inside with a leaf in the very center all right my friends we're ready to color our dragon for my dragon, I'm going to use felt markers and wax crayons, but you, you, you use whatever mark making mediums that you want to color your dragon. Pick your favorite color to color the body. I'm gonna pick a second color to do some of the other details. So I picked a pink and I'm gonna color the flesh on the inside of the wings with the pink. Remember as a, your own artist and being an artist yourself, you pick the colors that make sense to you. And if you want to add other details later, Go for it. I did the little spike with pink. I'll do the horns pink. And I'll color every second stripe pink. I'm gonna color the in-between stripes with yellow. The leaf shape on the flame with yellow. Then I'm gonna find an orange. I'll just use a, a light orange pencil crayon. I mean a wax crayon. I'm lightly gonna color that middle part And then I'll use my orange felt marker for the rest of the flame. I'm ready to add my final details by using wax crayon. I'll take a light blue wax crayon and I'm gonna go around the pupils to make it extra cute. Then I'm going to find my black. I'm going to use my black wax crayon to add any shading. So I'll go around my eyes, shade the horns,
shade the belly, shade around that back leg. on the bottom of the tail. The bottom of the feet. And around the wings. And if you want, if you've used darker colors, you can use a white crayon to highlight. Now my colors are pretty bright, so it's not showing up that great, but if you have like a darker dragon, this will be fabulous. So you can use a white crayon to highlight if it's possible. And then once you're done, your wonderful fire breathing dragon is complete. Artastic Nation, that's the end of this episode. Tune in every Tuesday evening for the premiere of the next episode and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For more art tutorials, visit my blog at MizArtastic.com. Teachers, find my creative, high-quality art resources in my TPT store, MizArtastic. Finally, you can receive free art worksheets for kids by joining my newsletter by simply clicking the first link in my video description. All links are available in the description of this video. See you next time.